responding to this news. Sophia, good morning. Good morning, Owen and Amy. President Trump took quickly to his Twitter account early this morning, pushing for action from South Korea, from China, from Japan. Officials say, if true, that this test would mark a significant step in North Korea's missile launch program. The possibility of Pyongyang developing a long-range missile that could reach anywhere in the world and the United States, of course. Well, President Trump tweeted this early out this morning of that missile launch into the Sea of Japan. He said, quote, North Korea has just launched another missile. Does this guy have anything better to do with his life? Hard to believe that South Korea and Japan will put up with this much longer. Perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Now, North Korean officials called it a successful launch of the long range intercontinental ballistic missile. One scientist writing that this missile could possibly have a range of more than 4,000 miles enough to get to Alaska. Now, these still pictures of that missile in North Korea just in. You can see the massive missile being prepped for launch while North Korean leader Kim Jong-un looks on. The missile then goes up in the air amidst clouds of smoke and finally several North Korean officials cheering after the test went off. Now, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe responded early this morning right after that launch. He said to reporters in Japanese, that this test shows Pyongyang's threat has now increased. North Korea has continued to ignore repeated warnings from the international community. He said he spoke with President Trump and is asking other world leaders at the G20 summit for help. Now, this is, of course, one of several tests launched by North Korea earlier this year and new this morning. Uh, we've been keeping an eye on President Trump's Twitter account. He has not tweeted anything as far as this long-range missile is concerned, only about the 4th of July holiday. But China's foreign ministry said that China hopes all parties can exercise restraint and avoid actions that will escalate this situation. Of course, we will be keeping a close eye on this, and uh, this surely will be on the mind of President Trump later this morning. He is expected to be in Washington, D.C., celebrating the holiday with his family and watching fireworks above the National Mall. We will keep an eye on his Twitter account and, of course, on the situation and bringing the latest on air, online, and our KPRC Facebook page. For now, reporting live, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC Channel 2 News. Fascinating stuff, Sophia. We do appreciate it. We'll check in with you later. 6.05 right now. Let's talk about, <laughs> excuse me.